Fairly early start this morning, I've got about an hour's drive to get to our location for today's run. I've parked here in the free long stay car park on Springburn Way and now I'm going to walk down into the village to spend a penny and grab a coffee. black coffee. That's better. <laughs> yeah. Have you ordered a warm drink at all? Uh, yeah, coffee. Oh. How far are you going to run? Uh, about seven miles today, I think. Well, I mean, I do a lot of running, that's why I ask. I run on the road, I run on the hills as well. Right, so where's the best places around here? Well, you see that hill there? Yeah. That, the top of it, you can't see the top of it from here, it's called yeah. Alfin Pike. Right. For a run up there. Up onto the ridge. And then you go right along the ridge from the top of Elfin Pike to Indian's Head, which is a very well known local point around here. Yeah. Because uh, if you tip it to one side, it vaguely looks like an Indian's Head. Right. And then you can go across from there to Chew Reservoir, which was one of the highest, was the highest reservoir in England at one time. Yeah. And then you can come right back around the other side, uh, and there's a memorial to some clans who died in the Alps. Lovely to meet you. I better get cracking. It's a very pretty little village. We're heading down the main street now. The uh, history of the place is dominated by the wool and cotton spinning industry. And now we're going to head across the River Tame, which rises on the moors and drops down south towards Stockport. Okay, morning. Lovely to talk to Tony there. He gave me lots of useful local knowledge. I'm definitely going to be coming back here. There are so many places to visit. And as I was driving in, I kept going, ooh, look at that, I could run there. So, uh, excited to visit here and could do some more. So where am I? Where am I? You're asking. I'm at Upper Mill, near Saddleworth. So just to get your bearings, um, we are to the right of Manchester. Uh, near Oldham. South of us we've got what Staley Bridge and Stockport and Marple and yeah they um, you could I could run the canal here all the way through to Marple that's something perhaps I might do as a one-way route at some time in the future uh, but today it's just we're just dipping our toe in the water really it's lovely here uh, but yeah I thought we'll have a run up the canal this lovely beautiful canal and uh, then loop around just on the edge of Saddleworth Moor so uh, all new to me so but come and explore it with me come on let's get going This is such a beautiful, peaceful spot. On these sorts of trail runs, pace is of no importance to me. It's all about taking the time to run mindful, escaping the daily urban grind of people and rushing traffic and emails, and taking the time to really enjoy the sights and to listen to the wind and the running water and the animals. It's good for your stress levels, good for your soul.
Ahead you can see Saddleworth School, which is our cue to turn away from the canal. We're going to climb up out of the valley now. It's a fairly steep climb, but you are rewarded with some fantastic views. The, we're going to head up towards Saddleworth Moor, though we're not going to go all the way up onto the moor. We're just going to skirt the edge of it around via Pop Green. What an absolutely stunning view looking up towards Saddleworth Moor. Just taking a minute here just to really soak it in. It's just stunning this morning. I got a bit lost here. The Ordnance Survey map shows two paths in this field, one going straight up the Oldham Way and one to the right. I headed right as that's a more direct route for us. Uh, however, I didn't find the other side of the path where it comes out, though I was rewarded by a beautiful waterfall and then I had to skirt round the top of the waterfall and the top of the field 
to get back to the other path. Just note, if you had taken a right along the lane there, you'd have gone into Pob Green, where you could have paid a visit to the Cross Keys Inn or the Church Inn. Not that I want to tempt you. part of the adventure. Ah, that's more like it. We're going to head down to the lane now and take a left and just follow it winding down the hill to Fir Lane and then take the path which follows through to the Tame Valley Way which is a 24 mile track that runs from Denshaw down to Stockport.
We're going to join the trail now, heading back towards the village, and then I'm going to pick up the Pennine Bridleway out to the far side of Upper Mill, and then we'll pick up the canal and head back that way.
did you enjoy that? What a beautiful place and there's just so many routes and options. Uh, we've, we've only barely scratched the surface. I'm going to have to come and explore much, much more around here. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed that and I hope wherever you are today it inspires you to go and explore a new path. It's great to explore new places. Um, anyway, it's the last week in November now, so just a quick warning to the Grinches out there. It'll be the first week of December next week, and so the Santa hat will be back. So prepare yourself. Anyway, take care folks, and we'll see you all next week for another run adventure. Take care.